The Club Legends Cup here at the LG Arena, raising money for the charity Cure Leukemia Villa in Group B with Wolves and Coventry, managed by Brian Little and captained by Lee Hendry. Let's find out how they got on. Got to uh, finally captain uh, my, my favourite club of all time. Um, so to have the armband done and have the, the, uh, the shirt on again is a big, big moment for me. You've got a decent lineup, but I know the banter's already been flying around. Yeah, I've told a few of the lads I'm going to smash a few, especially the Blues <laughs> lads anyway. No, it's good. It's a good bit of banter in there. We've, you know, all the lads in the change room, it's, you know, there's a bit of, uh, bit of fun going on in there. It's back to the old days again. We, it's just typical banter, isn't it? It's back being in a, a dressing room situation. Someone always gets a little bit of a, a, a taken over. Uh, so it's just part, of, part and parcel of the fun, really. On paper, you've got a seriously good team, but it doesn't always work out like that. Well, you know, once you stop playing football, uh, you know, you still think you've got it there, but it, it does disappear a little bit, you know. And in small games like this, again, um, it just gets a little bit competitive and they've got to be careful because they get little pulls and strains here, there and everywhere with not being flat out all the time. But um, oh, it's great. I mean, the, the lads all look well. Um, the lads from all the clubs look well, in fairness. So. It's great. I've just seen Matt, I mean, so many of the lads have played for me at different clubs as well, you know? And I've just seen Matt Murray. Matt's immense. I mean, he's, he looks unbelievably well. Um, so, it, it, yeah, it's, it's quite daunting. They, they, they're looking forward to it, but they're actually making themselves nervous a little bit as well. So, have you seen yeah, how fit yeah. he looks? And have you yeah. seen how good he looks? So, it's, uh, yeah, it's great fun. And we've got four supporters, I think, who get the opportunity to play with you. So, that. That's such a big thing for them. Will you put them at ease? Are you going to get them involved in, in the banter? How, how, where do you go about it? Well, I've just I've just pulled them in the change room and I just said, so we, you know, what positions do you play? Are you any good? You better be good because we you know we want to win this. <laughs> <laughs> um, so pretty much, you know, I've I've given um, I've given them like the word of warning that they uh, they better be on par with the lads. <laughs> it's great to have the guys together and also such a worthy cause with with cure leukemia. Yeah, well, I think especially to everyone connected with Villa, well, it's football more so than anything else. You know, it, it just it's really hit home how how it could happen to anyone. You know, and, and it's how worthwhile a cause it is. So yeah, we when it when it came up and it was available, I mean, you know, everybody wanted to try and help out. We all know what happened with Stan, and uh, among so many others. Um, and I've got to say, you know, a big credit to it goes out to to him for you know uh, for what he's gone through and, and you know come through and his family. Um, and to the fans who have always, you know, you know, every every home game has stood and applauded, um, which is, you know, is superb, and that the backing that he's had from that has been fantastic. And you know, if we can do something similar to that here today and, and in the future to, to raise a lot more awareness and, and earn a few quid for the, for the charity, then you know, let's get let's get our, our teeth into it and get on with it. They went down 3-1 to the Sky Blues. The highlight a goal for fan Aaron Hodgson. He was one of four supporters whose dreams of playing with their Clarence and Blue heroes came true after bidding online for a place in the squad. His glory came at a cost though. He picked up an ankle injury and tried to double his tally. Well, I scored the goal and then Hendry was about to set me up for the other goal and then I rolled my ankle. What's the prognosis on the injury then? Uh, sprained ankle, two, three weeks. You were asking the physio if you could go out again and play, but he advised you against it. Hey, but I can't move it now. So. That result meant Villa had to win against Wolves to qualify for the semi-finals. They did just that, thanks to an exciting 3-2 victory. Lee Hendry led from the front with a brace, while Gareth Farrelly got the other. Dean Dodd was another fan who took part and enjoyed every minute. Yeah, no, it's great out there, you know, to get out there and mix it with the ex-professionals and whatever, it's great. And for me, it's an honour, I have Brian Little as my manager. Exactly. And hopefully on the winning side. Yeah. So the last time we won the Cup it was against Leeds, so hopefully yeah. we can do it again today. But no, it's great, the great turnout with the fans, you know, and it's just great to rub shoulders with all these that are here and raise lots of money for the charity. You know, I'd love to, in the semi-final, rattle one in and even, you know, in the final. So yeah, it's great. How have you not scored a goal, by the way? The other supporters involved were Neil Murdoch and Dale Jarvis. They faced West Brom in the last four, and it was very much the tale of two Lees. Former baggy striker Hughes with two goals for Albion. They even got shirty with each other at one stage. Villa were unlucky not to go through with Darren Byfield having a number of chances, but they went down 2-1 in the event. 
Yeah, it's, it's a great occasion and it's for a great cause as well. So hopefully everyone, all the supporters have had a good afternoon like, like the players have. And the local elements night as well, isn't it? With all the, the local teams represented. Yeah, I think it just creates a little bit more uh, of an advert for, for the Midlands and for, for people to come out and enjoy all the Midland teams and, um, and get behind the, 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 um, the, the, the charity that it's for and, and, and credit to them for coming out and enjoying themselves along with us. And Brian Little overseeing operations as he used to do so well, the, the Claret and Blue. We're disappointed he's not got his boots on, but he just said he, um, he's past that now. So, um, But yeah, it's always nice to see Brian again, he's a great guy. I owe him an awful lot myself for, for my time that I had at Villa, so um, nice to see him again. Does this make you miss being a manager? You, you do think, Craigie, yeah, I forgot about that, and, and it's all it comes flooding back into you. It's that togetherness. It's that team spirit, it's that bonding thing, it's that, that, that feeling that everybody gets about being in a, in a team uh, situation. And yeah, so you do miss it, but I'm not sure it makes me want to go back to it, to be honest. But, um, but yeah, it's great fun. Yeah. I mean, the atmosphere is superb. It's a healthy, friendly local rivalry, isn't it? So, which is what you wanted to achieve. Yeah, I think we found that balance between people understanding it's a, you know, an, uh, an event in aid of a charity raising money, but also you still want that competitive edge. And you've only got to look out there. There's some injuries, there's some slide tackles, there's burns on the arms and whatever. So I think we found the right balance, which, um, as I said, starting out you know, a year or so ago with a bit of an idea in our head, turning it into fruition today has, has been you know, something you know, very satisfactory.